Hi, how are you? You know what that was? Sign language. Wow. Nothing too elaborate because I'm new at it and I don't want to make any mistakes. But if I were to make a little mistake, maybe you would forgive me because I'm new here and I know not what I do. But that's not the case in today's episode of what the hell even is the internet? A creator by the name of Bryn Eubanks was put under a little bit of fire for this video. And for those of you that aren't aware, there are a few mix-ups in that video where American Sign Language is concerned. Just a few little mess-ups here and there, and she was absolutely called out. Most noticeably by a popular creator by the name of Jacelyn Fincher, who I'm really hoping I'm pronouncing correctly. And who, by the way, I'm a fan of. As somebody that's trying to learn ASL, she's a fantastic creator, and I can't say that enough. And she definitely understands her own language a lot better than I do, and she made a response to Bryn's video. And she's not the only one. Plenty of people called her out. And I just... Mm, I hate to play devil's advocate on something like this because it's not really my wheelhouse but let's just let's take a second right off the bat my thesis statement is that Bryn was wrong she should have studied more or asked somebody within the deaf or signing community for verification on what she was saying in the video however comma i don't think that she meant to belittle or mock the language or that she pretended to be fluent in asl just for clout again hear me out let me cook it's not okay but also maybe not as bad as some people think Thing. I think she's just a little mistaken, maybe gone astray a little bit. This doesn't come across so much as fake ASL as somebody that's maybe learning and a little bit confused. Because trust me, we'll look at some actual examples of people legitimately using ASL for clout. And boy howdy does she know better now. Because that's exactly what she's being called out for doing. Somebody who's intentionally making fun of or mocking sign language. Or somebody that just threw up some signs because she thinks that ASL is pretty. Some folks in the comments on TikTok and Instagram have said something along the lines of what I have, that maybe she's just learning and got mistaken. And also, she's a teenager. She since deleted the video and some people have taken that to mean, oh no, she's been caught and has thrown out all of the evidence. She's been had. And I'd say maybe she just realized she was wrong. Another creator, Happy Witch Gal, responded and say, hey, this is where you messed up. Here's some corrections. And Bryn did comment on that video and said, hey, my bad, I wasn't trying to be a meanie. But here's what does make it kind of an issue. Because again, I don't think she's the worst clout chaser on the planet. And I don't even think she did this intentionally. But there are people that do. And while we're focusing on her, we're taking away the attention from people that are legitimately doing that and using the language. You can't look up fake ASL without running into some old news, so I'm going to rehash it for just a second. This fake sign language interpreter weaseled her way into an actual position where you would expect somebody to be fluent in ASL. It's happened again. Another sign language interpreter accused of signing total gibberish. And I honestly love the response to how she managed to get this position doing her best impression of Naruto Uzumaki. I just didn't ask enough questions. And now his lesson is learned too. But in this case, compared to Bryn, this really was a troll move. A mockery of the language in a place where it might actually be really important for people to understand what's being said. There are plenty of places online where people are using fake ASL for engagement. For folks that don't understand it, they just think that it looks flashy and it keeps you watching the video. Hell, look at another creator on the exact same platform doing this, but without stopping. <laughs> And again, as someone that's not part of the deaf community, I can really only look at it from the outside. And Lola here gets us right into the heart of the issue. People that are watching this content aren't just watching Bren because it's fun. They might actually be learning sign language. Or these are viewers that legitimately rely on sign language to understand a video. I think at the very least, Bren responded correctly. She deleted the video, said, hey, my bad, and hopefully won't do it again. As opposed to the response from someone like Lola. Because it's true, she isn't learning and making mistakes as she goes. She's claiming to be someone that can teach you sign language. Hopefully, on Bryn's part, worst case scenario, this was a mistake. Somebody that was learning ASL and just needed to verify before posting. And I hope in the future she's more mindful of what she posts. Learning a language is really hard. And I really hope that this is just someone early on in their education. And if it's something that she's really passionate about, I hope that she continues to learn. I would hate to find that this would scare her away from learning something 
something new. At least that's my best case scenario, because otherwise... But of course, I don't know everything. I hardly know anything. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you or someone you know uses sign language as their main form of communication, I'm really interested to know what they feel about this, as well as your thoughts on fake ASL interpreters for high profile murder cases, <laughs> because that's just that's wild. If you like this video, consider liking, commenting and subscribing to become instantly dummy thick. It'll happen. I promise. But that's all. And as always, Okay, bye.